guys, it's Blair, and I'm in a cave in Kingman, Arizona. That's right, I'm in a cave in Kingman, Arizona. I know you guys are saying, that's a good place for Blair. Uh, this morning, great day out here. Friday, um, I don't know, 80 degrees, March 11th. And uh, started this morning out on the Mother Road, Route 66 in the heart of Kingman. Um, heart of Route 66, right downtown Kingman, Arizona. Coring, here I hold in my hands a piece of the, the Mother Road, Route 66, right there, guys. If you're in Arizona, remember we got the cooperative bid clause. Uh, we're gonna go out and watch this tip of the week, but I just wanted to take a second for those of you who don't travel much, and maybe you could share, uh, I'll share some of the scenery with you, and you're gonna enjoy it just the way I am today. I'm just taking a day, uh, or taking a minute out of the work day to enjoy this amazing scenery out here in a cave at White Cliff, White Cliffs Road at the top end of Kingman, Arizona. If you've never been out here in Arizona before, you got to get yourself out here. Get on a plane to Vegas, rent a car. you got to get out here and see this place. I just pinched myself. Amazing, amazing scenery. This tip of the week is about RCC with broom finished concrete, an award winning uh, project, American Concrete Pavement Association gave the city of Bel Air, Ann and her staff over there, an award for this project. I told you guys in the webinar that I'd get this produced for you. This is part two of the Super Slurry and the RCC series. Hope you enjoy it. It's a little longer than we normally take, but we've got so many interviews here with the public officials and even some of the residents. Um, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss this one. RCC, Room Finished Concrete. Enjoy the tip of the week. And don't forget that cooperative bid clause. If you're in Arizona, you want to bolt onto the contract here, let's get on it, man. Let's spend two cents a square yard and save 10 bucks a square yard. Let's start today. It's time for your ITMA tip of the week. Brought to you by ITMA Academy, the most comprehensive online certification program for pavement managers on this planet. Here's your host, author of the Amazon number one bestseller, The Book on Better Roads, Blair Barnhart. Listen in with Blair and his special guests as they show you how to do more with less money and less carbon footprint. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Blair and I've got an amazing tip of the week coming up here for you. I've got Ann Stevens here from the city of Bel Air in beautiful downtown middle of Kansas, the heartland, the most friendliest people in the world. So, Ann, please take a minute and just introduce yourself before we get into this amazing journey with the RCC and the Broom Finish. Sure. My name is Ann Stevens. I graduated from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. I'm in civil engineering. I've been in the consulting field for about 10, 15 years now and just recently moved into government with the City of Bel Air as our city engineer and public works director. Unbelievable. So, uh, clearly, Ann has been around the block a few times and seen a lot of different types of projects, whether it's hot mix or conventional PCC concrete. Um, so just before we get into the specifics, and we do have uh, Fred here, the chemist, who invented this special system to get us there, but maybe let's just talk about some of the basics. First of all, and I do realize that you came in later in the project, uh, Correct. and congratulations on your new position, but from an overall engineering standpoint, uh, if you had to name the top three benefits right now, we've heard from the neighbors, we've heard from the residents, what would the top three benefits be of doing this roller compacted concrete? It's timing, first of all. You're in, you're out, it's quick. The longevity concrete, we all know, is a lot more longevity, has a lot more life than asphalt does. You're a lot less maintenance. And the upfront cost, you're win, win, win. Sounds great. And incidentally, you might have seen the earlier tip of the week where this roadway, uh, Edgemore? Yes. Edgemore at 45th in Bel Air. Again, we're in Bel Air, Kansas at the tip of the week. Um, but the most amazing part, I think, is that the underlying sub-base was super slurry. So Correct. it's a cement-treated sub-base with a 8-inch RCC on top? 7-inch. Seven 7-inch seven RCC. you got to think that this is going to be like a 50 to 60-year lifespan. I mean, very little we preventative maintenance yeah. coming down. We certainly hope so. Um, so, quickness. you got the ability to get fire trucks out of the hall right away if there's an Correct. emergency situation. Um, touch wood. Unlike a PCC that may take up to seven days to set up and open yes. the traffic. So with this RCC on the super slurry, can you give us an idea of what the 
original plan was? Uh, like, was was this a pavement project, or was this maybe to be bid out as a conventional PCC? Yeah. This was pavement restoration, really. The original surface was built probably back in the 50s, maybe, and then it was added onto as the subdivision expanded. I see. The asphalt was breaking up alligator cracking full depth it was a mess so. oh, yeah. well and as a matter of fact i think we got a little b-roll of the top end here or the i guess the east end where we're going to do end. the next section so you get an idea of what that looked like so from an engineering standpoint have you ever seen anything quite like this i mean there's no. just like a bunch of bees on a beehive oh, yeah. right and they're all like clockwork um what especially impressed me the most is the fact that conventional RCC and again if you're listening here I know we've got like 30,000 people on our mailing list many of you are engineers and um, politicians and the likes of that but typically and the RCC has been a really durable product but it has a history of not really looking all that good but what do you think about that finish with the patent pending it looks just finish? like your traditional cured in place poured in place concrete you cannot tell the difference unbelievable um, let's talk real quickly about your award. Sure. <laughs> you must be proud of that. Very. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> do you want to say or do you want me to? Um, Bel Air was chosen on one of our recent RCC projects as either the gold or silver award winner for the American Concrete Pavement Association. Wow. So we're really excited about that. The award will be presented in December and we're looking forward to see whether we got the gold or the silver. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that may be the first time RCC has been in the running and actually won an award. So kudos to the guys yeah. over there at Andale Construction for being able to figure that one out. Um, great. Um, we're going to get uh, Fred in here, the chemist, who's sure. the brainchild behind all this, And But do you have any closing thoughts right now on maybe just the overall performance of the contractor or the workmanship or the actual RCC with room finish? Would you use it again? Yes, definitely. Well, you want to know more with it already, right? Yeah. My biggest fear now is that the contractor is going to raise the price. Right. We have this award. It's like when they win a Grammy Award, right? Yeah. Now I get more for a movie, but uh, yeah. any closing thoughts for the learners back there? I guess there? as far as the contractor goes, I can't say enough about them. We've had residents come up and write just glowing, glowing comments about them, and just that's pretty awesome. As far as the RCC goes, Never are you going to find a concrete that you can walk on top of as soon as the laydown machine that has is passed. Crazy. That is amazing. Wow. I still can't believe it. I can't believe it myself. Um, God help us if we ever have a utility break. That's oh. good, right? Yeah, so, no for, doubt. here's some news flashes. Uh, if you're planning on one of these projects with Super Slurry yep. and the RCC broom finish, you might want to think about checking all of your water pipes your sanitary laterals, your uh, gas services, right. anything you think might need replacing. There's no better time than before they before. come in and do all this stuff. Uh, yep, definitely. Awesome. So uh, that's awesome news. Uh, and let's uh, get Richard in here, the chemist, and we'll go into a little bit more detail on the technicalities. Sounds good. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. Looking forward to doing payment management with you yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Hey, everyone. Uh, so uh, that, thanks to Ann uh, for that amazing testimonial about everything with the RCC. Now let's drill down because again, you, you may have heard me say this to Ann, but we've got about 30,000 people on our mailing list and it goes to like 400 people on LinkedIn and the groups and all that stuff. So got a lot of pretty smart engineers out there and perhaps some chemists as well that are looking at the videos and they're going, wait a second, I didn't think we could do room finish on RCC and then along comes this little Andale construction company and boom, they're patent pending in this process, but understand, uh, is this your little brainchild, Fred, from way yeah, back? Yes, Did you yes. have a dream in the middle of the night one night? And like, I think I'm going to get a way to broom finish RCC. How did that evolve? Well, pretty much evolved through... Oh, may, maybe introduce yourself first. Oh, okay, my name is Fred Bruyere. I'm the president and CEO of Ascent Industries. Awesome. And that's the chemical that we're using out here in the right, field, right? Right, right. Okay, so where did you get this idea from? How long has it been out there and is it proven? Yes, yes. We have been at this for three plus years now within the RCC uh, realm of it. Uh, uses is making the statement of chemical. It's not really a chemical. 
It's a dry material. It's a uh, totally natural material. Oh, I see. Okay. It's a combination of food grade type material. Interesting. We see my brain went to admixtures and super plasticizers right. and it's water reducing agents. It's none of that. Nothing. So forget everything I said about chemicals. It's listen to Fred. Don't listen to Fred. It isn't anything about chemicals. Okay. It, okay. It so has, that's cool. And it isn't a retarder and it isn't a uh, super plasticizer and it isn't any of the conventional okay. type of chemicals. Okay. This is a whole new animal. It's a whole new animal. And basically what, we, what I did was figure out how to change the dynamics and when cement hydrates. Okay. And aside from that, what we've done was put elements in into this mixture that has the ability to retain more water and be more aggressive about wanting water and holding water than cement is. I see. So we disallow the absorption of cement for the chemicals that were normally, the, the chemistry of cement that ordinarily have. I see. It's Was this all done with a, like a nano microscope? Sort it, of thing? It, it certainly is. Okay, um, so, so similar to, I guess, the emulsion industry, like where you're trying to get the best products in there to do the most. And it, it's kind of what we did, and th this has been a long term, really, I began five years ago. And we found, until we found a need for it, but through my working with, with different large chemical companies such as Dow Chemical and whatever, yeah, yeah. Uh, we worked together and kept on developing different material okay. until we found the ultimate. Okay, so, you know, so do the folks take the dry material on the job site and add water to it and no. come up? Oh, okay, so this is really... It's added to the concrete. Oh, it's in the concrete. It's inside the concrete. Okay, then... Uh, when I was filming the, the Whirly Bird, yes. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but the finishing little, machine, yeah. the finishing machine. The, so the little um, the spray bars. Spray. Right. Can you talk to the uh, yes? And that, that, what that, that, that is a completely new product that we just got out of. This is the fact is this is only the second time we've ever used it. Okay. And we're calling it Acid Blue. Acid it Blue. It is uh, only contains about ten percent water. Okay. So the volume you see them spraying on there isn't water. I see. It is a chemical that actually changes the surface tension of the concrete. Wow. And what it does is, is enhances the the minimal amount of paste that you have on top of this concrete. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. makes it look like you have more than what you actually it's have. It's kind of faking the paste, so it's, to speak. Exactly. Okay. And so, so unlike, and by the way, if you're on a PCC conventional job and you see someone putting blessing, excessive water on the old blessing of the concrete, concrete that's going to lead to problems down the road. So exactly. for you pavement managers that are looking at scaling, in your micropaper guide, that's where the scaling started, the day it was blessed. Exactly. Uh, so what I'm hearing is the acid blue is completely a different thing. It's, it's changing completely. It's that changing is. the physical and chemical properties exactly. of the paste. And while it's doing that, it still has the same abilities as acid has, the powdered acid that we add into internally into the concrete, and that is it really likes retaining water. Okay. So basically what's happening now, you have an internal cure composition that's going on inside your concrete, and you have a surface cure that's happening right when you're placing it. Oh my. It. And the other event that's happening during this process is we're reducing so much surface tension between yeah. the finishing machine yeah. and that dry, harsh concrete yeah, yeah, that's RCC, yeah. that uh, what we have going on now is lowering the heat that's transmitted, that's conducted between I the pan see. and the concrete. So less so, friction, less heat, smoother surface. When you see even on conventional concrete, yep. then when you see little spots and they call them hydration cracks and yep. whatever, yep. Yep. a lot of that is generated from the finisher himself. I see. That applies so much heat, he's trying to get it so burned down and, and smooth uh -huh. that he's superheating that spot of the concrete. Interesting, interesting. So what we so, may see as number 37 in our micropaper guide, shrinkage cracks could actually have been caused by overfinishing exactly. and the heat of the, because the it, whirly bird. It's an art. Oh my god. Finishing, you know. So well, the, I noticed that they, they, he knows exactly when to turn the machine off. He knows when to turn it on. Uh, kudos again to the Ando guys. I mean, we listen to the residents out here. They're yeah. amazed. I, I, I'm thinking that Pete must have sent the A team out here. <laughs> but maybe they're all A team. I don't know. But in any case, um, if um, anyone in America wanted to use this, I know we're in the heartland in Kansas here, exactly. but um, if I, I don't, I want to make sure that. The listeners back there, if you're in Fairbanks, Alaska, or and you're in, you know, St. George, Utah, is this something that anyone can use? Yes. This product. Yes. And the technology is conventional RCC. The technology will be available. Yeah, the technology is conventional RCC, except we've developed now a, a an RCC that you can transport as well. Uh -huh. this, this this RCC has a pot life of anywhere from two to five hours. Interesting point. So analogous, guys, to your warm asphalt mix, we can truck longer distances, 
now we can kind of retard this and roller combined to concrete, which looks like dry dirt. And um, which is not retarding it in the sense, in the conventional sense of retardation. What's happening is that even though you're transporting it, it's protecting itself, this moisture is protected. But the kinetic energy after it's going through this paving machine, it's going to make it transform itself into conventional concrete again, like okay. the, like the RCC would have been prior to the add innovation to that. Unbelievable. Um, RCC, roller compacted concrete, invented in Canada, and back in the 50s, I think, for the logging industry. So this is a durable, long-term solution that now, thanks to Fred and his genius crew, uh, we can actually broom finish. I don't know what could be better, and it's now an award-winning job site here in the city of Bel Air, Kansas. Let's bring Mike in here, and we'll wrap this thing up. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Fred. And oh, by the way, see us give them your email address as oh, well. Email address is fred at acit, a -C -E -I -T -U -S com. There you go, folks. Thanks, Fred. Thanks. Right, so we're going to wrap this one up for you here, folks. Uh, a little longer than normal, but there's so much information to be had. And this RCC broom finish, look for it on every job site in America shortly. Uh, I can't see why this wouldn't take off. It's less money than PCC. It's as durable as anything out there. And combined with the Super Slurry mic, it's an incredible one-two knock punch. And great news is you're doing this all as a prime contractor. There's Absolutely. There's no subs here. So go ahead and introduce yourself again to the listeners, and uh, let's wrap this up and tell us... Uh, where they can get a hold of you. I'm Mike Payne with Andale Construction. P A Y N E. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Got to know Blair just a little bit. Not and P A I N. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but feel just extremely fortunate to work for Andale Ready Mix Construction and being on the cutting edge of the construction that is environment. Exciting. Oh my God. I mean, oh my we're. God. I mean, I've been in construction for 35 years. I've never seen anything like this. And I had talked to Blair several times and said, you need to come out and see Super Slurry oh and God. see RCC instead of what you read about. Yeah, And yeah, I think I've yeah. got you impressed. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm impressed. Uh, it's just amazing to watch this technology go down. Uh, so fortunate we could have the folks here today. In a minute, we're going to bring Richard in with the certificate. Uh, and uh, we'll let uh, Richard talk about that certificate with Ann. We'll let them take over our video. <laughs> yeah, well, I, w I wish I could get Pete in here. That's okay. But, uh, there is an owner, and his name is Pete. And, and he's the <laughs> you'll genesis. Never, you'll never notice him on the job site because he's dressed up in jeans and a t-shirt, and he just looks like a resident. So. Yeah, he's but, um, the greatest leader a company could have because he's hands-on, and he's always out there working, and I might find him changing a loader tire someday when I need to talk to him. Unbelievable. And, yeah, I need it on him because he's always right. I got an important question and Pete's out running a loader. <laughs> Let me get RCC. our seats cut down for a oh, second. Oh yeah, it's just <laughs> unbelievable. But uh, hands on, hands on leadership. To have the foresight for the front discharge ready mix trucks, yep. the super slurry, the RCC, AJ aligning Byron. himself with Richard and Fuco uh, and Fred. Uh, it's just amazing to watch this company grow. Unbelievable. And I'm fortunate to be here and, and now sharing it with. Unbelievable. I'm 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 pinch me. Yeah, yeah. With. Yeah. So. The RCC with the broom finish, like I thought, I mean, I get, let me just say that being part of the International Pavement Management Association, we've got so many really amazing charter members. Like you said, they're out there on the front end, leading the industry, like it or not, all you naysayers, hey, you're about for being for a big surprise. Shocking, breaking news here, downtown Bel Air, Kansas. And uh, I don't know why anybody with a broken up concrete roads, when we do the pavement management, you know, the we got the sections that look like they're five and 10 on the PCI scale, Mike. Any city in America would do well to get a minimum square yardage of maybe 50, 60,000 square yards, three city blocks, something yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely, and, and we're saving money. And like Ann said, uh, and her predecessor, and all the other cities, Jeremy yeah. Jones was here before, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're saving them money, giving them a better product. And I just can't find a better win-win situation. And I'm proud when I go in and talk to another city engineer Unbelievable. about what we can do, and with Blair's help yeah. uh, with the IPMA Academy, uh, he can explain to them. And if there's any questions, anything, anybody can come up. We would, we just welcome any questions. So to help make us better. Awesome. Uh, and I, I think it goes without saying too. And you guys already know this from all the other tip of the weeks that the whole big picture here is you got to manage your payments, get the PCI ratings, inventory the roads, know which ones are concrete, know which ones are gravel, know which ones are asphalt, no one's chipped on the slurry, all the, if you want Mike to come in and do these options, we got to know what's out there. So spend a couple cents doing the pavement management uh, and then get out here and do some of these innovative treatments. What do you say? Uh, I say thank you, Blair, and I'm contact, glad you're here. Contact information, <laughs> phone number or email, whatever you feel comfortable with. 
Mike at AndaleReadyMix.com. Phone number? Area code 316-655-8803. You got it, folks. Let's get Ann back in here. We can talk to Richard, show you the certificate, and let's blow this thing up. Thanks for joining us. So uh, we have Richard. And we have Ann back again, and here's the actual awards. And I'm just going to ask a couple questions here about the awards. This American Concrete Pavement Association. This is a prestigious award. Again, um, and you, you're going to have this hanging on your wall. I mean, how proud can you be to have that back at the city office? Oh, extremely. It's going to be really good to show our council members and the citizens that come in and just see what they're getting for their tax dollars. It's, it's pretty darn exciting to be recognized nationally. You can't ask for better than that. Well, and now with the Google and the Internet and the World Wide Web and all that, you know, people are going to be searching in RCC. They're going to see your, they're going to see the awards. They're going to see all that. Um, Richard, tell us a little bit more about the economics behind the whole process. I mean, I see a lot of expensive equipment out here, and this is still less money than a PCC job because I guess it takes so much longer and so much more workmanship to get the PCC in place. That's correct because uh, uh, this one. Normally the asphalt is cheaper in initial cost. Okay. We know that compared to the conventional concrete. But now we are able to get the concrete for the price of asphalt. How I economically see. Can okay, so between PCC and asphalt and then life cycle costing, the RCC goes right down the center? Correct. Actually, okay. it comes uh, in initial cost the same as asphalt. Oh my god! Sometimes we beat asphalt, but then the customer, like Annie, now yep. reaping all the benefits of concrete in that uh, wow. life cycle. That's unbelievable. It's like a win-win-win for everybody. Yep. So proud of you guys. Thanks so much, Ann. And uh, Richard, if Thank you yeah. could just give the listeners your email address or your phone number because I know they're going to want to contact you. By the way, Richard is the vice president. I didn't say that of Andel. And uh, he takes care of everything that goes wrong. That's right. That's right. <laughs> He's QCQA on everything, right? That's so, right. like, at any given moment, it could be a, a curb job gone bad, an art, but nothing ever goes bad in construction, does it? That's no. right. I always had this saying in construction not, nothing ever happens, it always just happens. It never happens. <laughs> so, great job, everyone. Uh, and if you don't mind, just give the listeners your email address again and your phone number, maybe. Sure. My email address is A Stevens, A S T E P H E N S at bellairks.gov. My phone number is 316-744-2451, extension 133. There you go, folks. And Richard? And my email address is Richard, R-I-C-H-A-R-D, at enderreadymix.com. And my phone number is 316-519-0140. Awesome. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching our IPMA Tip of the Week. We love serving, love right there, our circle of pavement management rock stars. I'm Shelly Hansel and I am out of here. <laughs> hey everyone, like what you just saw? Then you'll love ITMA Academy, the most comprehensive online certification for pavement managers on this planet. Learn how to save your crumbling roads and do more with less money and less carbon footprint. Head over to www.ipmaacademy.com today for three free training videos. Thanks for watching. So if you're wondering what goes on out here, you know, we do all this construction and the city collects tax money and then the taxpayers come out and they look at the job and they go, hmm, are my dollars being spent wisely? And quite often, like I told Mike, as a contractor and as a former vice president of a paving company, I never got enough of these calls or I never heard enough of these testimonials. So I'm about to let you listen to an actual real live warm-blooded resident. <laughs> I'll let her introduce herself and she's going to talk about her thoughts from a ratepayer standpoint here in City Biller. Well, hi, my name is Karen Smith and I do live here in Bel Air. I have uh, lived here for, oh goodness, it has been 14, 15 years now. And, uh, but born and raised in Wichita, just a stone's throw away. And uh, so uh, I've had really good experience with this company so far. I've been really pleased with um, the workers that have been here. Uh, you know, when we first found out it was going to take three weeks that we were going to have to park a block and a half away and, you know, you think, oh my goodness. And, uh, 
but it's been a really fascinating experience. Um, not only has, I mean, just getting out of our house and houses and getting to know our neighbors again, that's, that's, been, that's been good, but uh, we've been fascinated with the whole process. Um, the, the workers have been extremely courteous and respectful to both us as people, but also to our property. And I know that's usually a concern for us. Um, and uh, they've also been extremely um, informative when you know there are other loads of when they're waiting for loads of dirt to come or they're hauling more things away. They've been more than willing to answer questions, tell us about the whole process, introduce us to the to the machines and what they do. It's just been fascinating. You know, for the first time, our kids are turning off the TVs and they're watching what's going on outside. It's been amazing. Um, I've been extremely uh, impressed with with the the workers they have. Um, again, I've been respectful, but they've also had such such extreme attention to detail, and uh, they they've worked very quickly. And um, but they have uh, just taken the time to really do things at a level of excellence that. Um, I was really impressed with and very surprised about. So well, we try and engender a lot of pride in workmanship, and and it really makes me feel good when I ask Karen how things are going. And I like to be on the job sites, and we all want to thank that our people that work for us and work for the company do a great job. But to hear it really makes me feel good. That and when I tell. Um, and like the city engineer that we're going to come in and we're going to be friendly and we're going to be approachable and we're going to explain to the citizens what's going on in their community because I look at them as the final buyer of the project and when I work with the city they're the initial purchaser but the final customer is always the citizen and what would I feel like if a pe people come into my neighborhood and ripped up the streets and and weren't approachable and were mean or anything else and I had to hide the kids and so <laughs> I'd look at it that way and treat others as we want to be treated and that's what Andale's all about is letting every treating everyone as our customer and Karen is our customer and we just happened to be talking and I well, I wanted to know how things went and I thought oh my this really makes me feel good and Blair was out here and so Blair wanted to get somebody on camera and we have a lot of these instances but Karen was nice enough to go on video and explain it so thank you Karen yes you know it in addition, they, they've even gone beyond uh, in the sense that uh, one of our neighbors, just before this happened, um, had broken her foot and wasn't even able to get a cast put on and stuff in time and has to stay off of it for six weeks. Well, it, even in going to the doctor's appointments and stuff, the construction workers have been so courteous to come in and even carry her to uh, her car to yeah. uh, the people that have been taking her so yeah that was going, jose medina i guess uh, carried was, her in a little <laughs> red wagon through several lots to get her where she needed to be and as we fly her everything and let people know and we're serious that we want to help you if there's anything at all we can do that's very personable and it's very much appreciated so. well it's all it's everything pete has engendered in the company <laughs> and uh yeah. All of the people in the office, everybody, it's the same spirit everywhere, and we get things done and want to have a good time doing it. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, I'm a little disappointed that today is the last day they're finally paving. <laughs> how, how many times do you hear that? Somebody disappointed because we're leaving. I guess if we need entertainment now, we'll have to turn on the TV and watch the programs. <laughs> okay, thank you very thank much, you. Karen. You're welcome. Okay, thank you.